Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and this is even more FTL, because you guys seem to love FTL, and that's great, because I love FTL too. So last time we just finished up the No Weapon Challenge, and I kind of enjoyed that, so I wanted to do a few more challenges. And one that was suggested to me in the Reddit community was No Shields, so that's fascinating, let's go do that. And honestly, what ship could be more appropriate than Stealth Ship A? I mean, it's classic... But it's, it is built for this exact purpose, because we start with cloaking, we start with a bit of evade. I would potentially go for stealth B, because I think in some ways it's it's the better bet if you get lucky on your first couple of segments. However, I think it also would be a lot more boring to watch, because every single fight would begin with me just waiting for 25 seconds for this damn thing to charge up. So, as amazing as the glaive beam is, I don't think it would be that interesting to watch. So... I'm going to go for A, it's the classic ship, it's exactly right, plus it, it looks like seriously badass, I mean that's, that, that is a damn cool ship. So uh, yeah, let's go for that, except the, the Nasasio, I don't, I don't even know what that is. So instead this is our ship, the Please Pick Up Milk, uh, that is good, and who, who have we got? We've got, we've got Roper, we've got Roper, Burko, for Burko, and O'Regan. Okay, fine. I'm happy with all those. I'm totally happy with those. All right, and we're going to do this on normal because uh, hard with no shields, that's just... I'm just going to be destroyed. So, uh, yes, let's do this on normal. All right, who's doing what where? All right, Burko apparently is back here on the engines. That's fine. Uh, O'Regan on weapons and Roper is the pilot. Okay, I'm totally fine with that. That seems okay to me. Let's just save those positions. I think they might automatically start off as saved, but uh, don't you know... So let's just get everything charged up, med bay off, everything on. So my basic evade is 30%. Okay, that's what I start off with. I've got 30% evade, I've got cloaking as an option, and yeah, I've got my dual lasers and my mini beam. What are the, what's the charge time on those? I think they're pretty fast. Dual lasers 10 seconds, mini beam 12 seconds. All right, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, assuming I get like okay luck and don't start running into anything too evasive or too tough that early that's fine and uh i'm going to start here because apparently i've literally well this is a bit of a troll galaxy yeah all of this is this is kind of an unlucky galaxy because like all of this you physically can't get to because by the time you've done duh 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 the you, you just these the, the the um the rebels will already be to here at least so kind of like this whole bit of the maps kind of pretty much off limits to you but that's okay there's loads of stuff over here so that's not too much of a problem anyway let's crack on and see how we do and then unremarkable systems no life form states it i really hope i'm not gonna have another one of these bloody runs where nothing bloody oh a store oh thank you thank you kindly game for giving me a store and i have no damn money and the most annoying thing is actually this is actually quite a damn good store yeah, that's actually not even a bad store. Halberd Beam's a great step up from the mini beam when you're ready for it. Uh, small Bomb is obviously really fun. Flak 2, uh, I've never been a fan of the cow guns, so I, I'm not so fond of them. But all right, fine. Let's just move straight on, having wasted vast amounts of stuff. But oh, oh I'd forgotten, of course. I've got long range scanners, so I, I already knew there wasn't going to be a fight there. All right, let's go this way. And what's it going to be? Just an... Automated rebel ship. Okay, yep, let's intervene. Sometimes these things have... Okay, so I've got an ion and a missile. That's absolutely fine. So basically, my core strategy is just going to be wait for it to fire the missile and then cloak. Yep, yep, I think it's coming in now. Yep, it is. So, now cloak. Fine. And then we just fire both of our weapons. In fact, we don't even need to wait, quite frankly. Hopefully we'll get the, uh, the guns. Yep. And then we'll just keep going. Mini beam, mini beam doesn't have that much range. What's my most efficient? Can it do three? Yes, it just can, but I don't want to do three that side. I'd rather do three this side. There we go. Okay, cool. So that thing's pretty much dead. And then I'll just take the final shots. Um, I'm now guaranteed to hit because if either the... What do you even call that? Is that officially called the cockpit? Hang on, I didn't want to check this. Yeah, outpost gives me some more stuff. Lovely. Uh, what is this officially called? Piloting. It's officially it's the piloting system. So it's a system, not a room. So I'm just going to call it the bridge from now on. So yes, um, if the, either the bridge or the engines are in red, then you're evade 0% because either you can't make the ship move or the ship has no capacity to move. So in other case, evade goes down to 0 and you're guaranteed to hit. So that was fine. Alright, that's not a bad starting off point. What is that? Asteroid view. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is why I really need a uh, ship with long range scanners, and this is why I kind of went for the stealth ship rather than a couple of the others. Because, like, say, you could argue maybe the rock cruiser would be an interesting one for this, but when you don't have the ability to see what's coming up, it's just madness. Like, an asteroid, that's instant death. I mean, there's a few things that are instant death, but never mind. Hopefully, we're not going to run into those. Hopefully, anyway. Now, what is this going to be? This is going to be another automated ship. That is not a problem. Okay, I'm not worried about that. I'm a little bit worried. Hopefully, both of these will fire at the same time. Maybe. Just wait for these to fire. Yep, they did. All right. Cloak and double miss. And it's another one, actually, where there's no shields at all. So I can just kind of go straight through like this. So that's all right. And now that I've hit the... Uh, Wait, how did I... I guess this was only yellow, not... Uh, that was technically yellow rather than anything else, so... Yeah, just wait for that to go. Oh! Is that going to hit something? Yes, it is. Never mind. Burko, go fix it. Two missiles, one drone part 19 scrap. Not bad for normal. Right, everyone just fix up the med bay quickly. And then, yep. Okay, they're not bad healers. They're not bad healers. I've only taken one point of damage so far. For a ship with no shields, that is not bad bad in the slightest. Alright, what have we got? We've got a store worthless to me for now. 53 scraps isn't really enough. I could consider... What's actually there? Is that a... Ion Storm. I mm, don't have enough power to deal with an Ion Storm, but let's see what's going on at Distress anyway. I'll make a decision whether I want to go to either the store or the Ion Storm afterwards. Um, Follow's just been trying to aspirate. Find a small strip struggling. Okay. Help! Our shield design won't last long. Uh... I think what I'm about to do is sacrifice about two or three points of hull damage for scrap, which I'm happy to do. Oh no, you try your best, but one straight rock hits a key structure in their ship, so basically just eight free scrap. Alright, that's not too bad. Uh, okay, I'm not going to bother going to the store, because as you can see, the store doesn't loop over to here, so it's not really worth it. There's an ion storm here, but there's no ship battle. So that's interesting. I'm going to go there, because I don't really know what happens if there's an ion storm, but no ship battle. I mean, what does that mean? Um, oh, boarding party. Okay, fine. Well, then we obviously know exactly what to do there, uh, which is just everything now shuts down apart from the med bay. And we just power up the med bay. Yep, no point in anything else being on, quite frankly. Now we just run straight to the ship. Everything's going to be open. They're going to have no choice but to follow me because everything else in this damn ship is going to be deoxygenated. Oh, they're going to go for the cameras, though. That's annoying. I'm hoping one of these guys might die. Actually, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and help. I'm gonna make sure my camera doesn't take that much critical damage because a two versus three in a med bay, I will easily win that fight anyway, quite frankly. So yeah, okay. So they poured into there. Yeah, we're fine. You can you can just kind of see the health. It's not even this isn't even a particular challenge, but sadly this means uh, obviously there's no reward, which is a shame. I always felt like there should be some reward. Like, you should be able to pick something off their corpse. Like, you know, presumably they got on your ship somehow. They came by, I don't know, a little shuttle or something. So, I felt like you should be able to do something. I should have spotted that one, actually, because if there's an ion storm, that means there's some sort of dangerous event. And if there's a dangerous event but no ship battle, it would have, it, you know, has to be. Oh, no, power up the oxygen, John. Um, then it has pretty much no choice but to be an intruders around your ship situation, which is just not helpful to me. I mean, I suppose it's not so bad because it's free experience to your fighting. So, yeah, so o Regan is now, yeah, is now not doing too bad. He'll actually be able to get a little bit of an upgrade to uh, combat skill soon. Right, that should be, yeah, everyone should now be all right. Good. Ship's a bit nice and pink, but nothing too much to worry about. And now just power everything up and move on. What is that over there? Pulsar. Mmm. That's a bit of a risk. Pulsars are quite risky. And there's a ship battle there. Ship battle with a pulsar. So this is the ion storm things where basically your randomly systems just go down for no well explained reason. And it happens pretty frequently. It's a bit of a gamble because it can work against you as much as for you. But I don't have any shields to take down. So actually I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it because I need to take some risks in order to get enough scrap to be upgrading my ship fast. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, what have I got here? That is... Yeah, they've got a missile launcher and a standard thing. Yeah, let's get my weapons charging up. Hmm. Yeah, that's not too bad. We've just got to hope we get lucky on the draw, quite frankly. That's all it is. It's just whoever gets lucky. Oh, 
Okay, that's... He's firing. Do I want to take the risk and cloak now? Because I think I'd rather wait for the cloak. Ah. Uh... Okay, so if I cloak now, I'll avoid the shots he's just fired. Which is fine. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, fine. I'm just going to cloak now just to save myself the trouble to make sure I get my first shots off. Okay. Now let's just... Okay, now let's hope we get lucky. What? Okay, what got hit? What got hit? Oh, look at that. That is exactly what I want. My my cloaking got hit. Don't care. My doors got hit. Don't particularly care. His shield got hit, so he's got no shield. And his hull got hit. He's got no flipping hull. Um, and that means he can't avoid these lasers I'm about to fire at him. So that is pretty perfect. Now, should I prioritize? It'll do less damage, but yes. Okay, that is perfect. He has weapons, and his weapons room is on fire. This is pretty darn good situation to be in, actually. Oi, 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 oi. No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm not having that. Not having that. Let's get this. Can I make this reach? That that should just be able to reach. Oh, okay. They've decided to surrender. Five fuel, four missiles, seven scrap. No, not good enough. Okay. Okay, what have we been hit with this time? Not so bad, I think. Oh, his weapons. Have been... Well, I've been really lucky. Because oxygen, that's, no... that's going to come nowhere close to starving me out of oxygen. Cloaking, don't need. Because his weapons are down. So, yeah, just go for it. Boom. Explosion. Done. And there we go. Two missiles, one drone part, 15 scrap. And then... Oh, you see, now that was a much worse one there. I lost visibility of what was going on and I lost weapons. But not for long. Not for long at all. So that's okay. Okay, let's just pause here. You'll probably notice there that these things... Ha that happens pretty quickly. Um, those things really can step up on you. Let's go to... Yeah, let's go to there. I really want to just keep up the fights in the first sector. Uh, buy one fuel for two scrap. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good deal because they're selling fuel for two and normally the shop it's three. So I will buy a bit of that fuel while I'm passing by. Don't want to buy too much. What do I want to do? Let's go to here because then if this fight happens to be a problem, I've got the exit beacon very close by. Right, uh, Rebel Scout's not firing yet. Intervene to defend the outpost, yes, because then you destroy them, you get stuff, and then the outpost can give you stuff too. So that's quite a bit of health, but I'm not so worried. Alright, what am I looking at there? Okay, that's just a hull smasher. That could be a problem, because obviously, these things are... I generally don't like these things, because when you've got shields up, they don't actually do that much, but when I don't have shield, which obviously I don't, they can be a bit of a problem. Okay, let's just keep going here. And there's... Oh, wow! I think it's just a board. Right, that's interesting. Um, is it even worth defending right now? No, I'd say it's worth just letting him do his business and prioritising just getting the first shots off. Yeah. Right, do that. You just get in here to distract him momentarily. Yeah. Yeah, just distract him. And now we will go for... Hmm, what to go for? Actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'd rather go for weapons, actually. At least one of... Neither of them hit? Oh, balls. Okay, this is bad. Because I was in basically entirely betting on the fact that he... Get back in the cockpit. Back in the cockpit! Is it going to miss? Yes! Whew, okay. That was lucky. Okay, good. Uh, that was very unlucky. It's going to take me a while to get my... Yeah, nothing I can really do about this apart from hope for a miss. Because uh, it's not going for anything too important. Oh, another miss. Excellent. <sighs> this guy another missile. Okay, good. We've actually got hit in this time. And I, the reason I like this particular layout of ship is because the mini beam can... Can I get four? Come on, give me four. Give me four. Is there an angle that gets me four? I'd like to think there is. No, okay, in that case, I'd rather prioritise just getting both the weapons and the shields. So, and I'm just going to have to accept, this might hit me. Oh, no, another miss, wow. Okay, I've been damn lucky on the misses, and my cloaking is going to be back in a second. Not soon enough, though. Oh, I hope that's not going to hit my cloaking. Oh, wow. 
I've only got 30% of aid, and that keeps happening. That is magnificent news. Okay, and... Oh, no one's driving! No one's driving, uh, which means I'm guaranteed to hit, which means I can take out the damn weapons a bit more. So that's well worth doing, and mini beam's going to be up in a sec. Good. Let's just get those down. Oh, fire in the oxygen. You always want a good fire in the oxygen. That's always magnificently good news. And then just finish them off. They can't avoid it. Guaranteed death. Okay, that was lucky. So 14 scrap, and do I get another 14 scrap and free fuel from those guys? Right, let's just quickly heal up. That was immensely lucky. That was so damn lucky. I had no right to expect that to happen. Uh, because, yes, multiple shots that I only had a 30% chance of evading missed. And when you're in a ship this fragile, that can... Things can escalate very, very quickly. So, what do I want to do? Do I want to go for... I'm probably going to have one more area in this. Hmm. Yeah, let's just try and stock up on scrap as much as I can in the first sector. And then we'll try and find a shop in the, sec in the second. Okay, so it's a pirate. Oh, he's the dread pirate Tuco. Well, that, that, that's good. That's good. Um, okay, not so worried by this. He'll fire one scanner and one missile. Hopefully at the same time. Okay, good. He's fired both of them. That means both of these are guaranteed misses. Or, well, 90, like 95% misses. You see? You see how sometimes it just doesn't damn miss for no well-explained reason? Which is, quite frankly, just bloody cheating to my mind. <sighs> right. Okay, so now he's going to get some guaranteed hits in. Uh, well, or very likely hits. No, a miss. Another miss. Okay, good. That was fortunate after that first little bit of error. Right, good. Okay, we've got shields and this looks like it could be a four. This looks like it could be a four. Maybe, can this be a four? Maybe the mini is just too small for this to ever be a four. Yeah, it probably is. Um, in that case, I'll go for oxygen. Yeah, oxygen weapons and shields. And we've got a fire going on too. Good, okay, he's... Oh, wow, we've been so damn lucky so far. This is amazing, uh, but not that amazing. Okay, we just need to get the mini beam before he gets his shields back. Good. And then another... Oh, yeah, this is, this is it. This is victory. Good. Dead. Okay, good. That has gone pretty well so far. Another 17 scrap and 2 fuel. So we've got 21 fuel, so we're in really good shape fuel-wise. We've barely taken a hit so far. I don't want to risk going down here and back up, because that looks like that will hit exit next turn. And I absolutely cannot afford to be in one of these scraps against the rebels themselves because the rebels are always tougher than the general uh general Ooh, search one of the stores to see if someone will sell to you yeah sure why not uh you spoke to the wrong person and an automated ship attacked me oh oh sh right congratulations welcome to death welcome to what death looks like because an enemy combat drone is now here um an enemy combat drone is that could kill me Right here, right now, no joke whatsoever, that could be my death. <clears throat> because I don't have any shields and that thing will regularly fire. And obviously normally it's just supposed to keep your one bubble of shields down. But I don't I have only one bubble of shields. Um Okay, my best bet is try and figure out where he's gonna fire wait for him to be firing at the weapons and at that point pause because basically all I need to do is I need to get I need to get my shots off I need to survive 12 seconds and they need to absolutely wreck his drone control what's that going for I don't care drone yeah just do that that'll buy me a few seconds okay don't shoot my weapons do not okay fine whatever you're shooting I don't care okay yep yeah, yep yeah. I don't care. Okay, that resisted damage. That's fine. I just need to take out his drone. That's it. Okay. Yep. Don't care. Drone. Ooh. Okay. Okay, it worked. It worked. And we've taken a bit of damage, but not that much. Now we just need to repair as soon as possible. So the pilot's going to go help out. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. Okay. Good. Pilot, back to your piloting seat. Back to the bridge. That's the word. Okay, he's got his shields back, because I haven't actually damaged the shield yet. So, and I haven't actually done anything to change his evade as yet. So I just need to knacker that. Okay. And... Yes. Okay, good. Now he shouldn't be able to do anything to me. 
But just in case, I'm going to focus all my remaining firepower on this area. Because I've just got to take that out. Oh. Okay. Yes. Drones are the worst thing imaginable. The only thing worse would be a beam drone. Beam drones are just a nightmare. In fact, really what I should do is I should try and maybe get drone control and then get an anti-drone drone. Because drone, those things at least mean I don't die. Uh, okay, what have we got? Energy controlled or also energy controlled. Uh, do either of these routes appeal more? No, actually they're pretty much identical, aren't they? Um, generally I prefer going through hostile sections because hostile sections is more fights and more fights is good. But I'm in a shit with no shields. Yes, you know what? We should focus on civilian. Let's go to energy controlled and stick to the civilian sectors. Oh, I've arrived in energy space now. I could use some energy. I could do with some energy because I could do with some repairing. I could do with some good quality repairing. Aha! A store! Hello, store. This will be good. All right, now it's time to upgrade some stuff. What have we got going on here? I've got crew. Don't really need salt and shield bypass. Could be good. Not that important. Some wet. The Vulcan. Hello, Vulcan. Um, so the Vulcan is good, but it's also slow to get started. That's the problem with the Vulcan. In some ways, hmm, I could have a flak one and a halber beam, but then I'd need five power. I'd need five power to control it all. What I feel like I should do is I should get rid of the mini beam, because the mini beam just doesn't do quite enough damage. Yeah, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to buy the halberd beam, which is going to mean I'm going to need to upgrade my weapon slots anyway, so that's fine. The flak is pretty good at taking down shields, and it only takes 10 seconds to charge. The flak is quite powerful. In some ways, it's more powerful than my dual lasers, because I think my dual lasers are also... Yeah, they're also 10 seconds to charge, but they only fire 5, whereas the flaks... Hmm... No, I'm going to stick with the dual weapons because I want something a bit... More. I'm going to stick with the, the dual lasers. It's just a little bit more reliable. So I feel like I actually feel pretty good about that. I don't... I like the Vulcan. I know the Vulcan's really, really powerful, but it takes a long time to charge up. By the time it's charged up and being in its insane, unstoppable god mode, I'll already be dead. So that doesn't really work for me. Any of these guys any good? No, these guys are actually useless. Um, so, uh, don't need any of that. I'm not going to sell any of my stuff, uh, any of my subsystems. Yeah, that's all I want. Okay, I'm willing to take that. But that means I need to upgrade to actually use this. Yes. Yeah, more power, more everything. Can I do this? Yes. Okay. So that's how I look like right now. I've actually got dual lasers. I've got my halberd beam. How long does that take to charge? Just need to check that. 17 seconds. Hmm. Okay. That's acceptable. That is acceptable because I need this guy. You will slowly get better at this sort of thing. So, yeah, I kind of need to accept that. And I've got I've got my I've got my cloak. That's okay. I should prioritize that. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with that. That feels like a good thing to do. Let's move on in that case. Oh, I've just got a system repair drone. Well, that's good. I didn't really need one, but okay. Now, let's try out my new weapons against whatever this ship fight is. Because, quite frankly, I need to. Okay, you find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Pristine condition appears to be deactivated. So, I could download the ship's data source. That means, extremely likely, I'll have to do a fight. Very likely, I'll have to do a fight. But if I do have to do a fight, then I will get the data stores afterwards. Or I could just strip it um, for scraps. So I'll just get 14 scrap. No, okay, I'm going to go for it, but... Oh, wow. Okay, fine. I didn't even need to do that. I was able to strip the scrap anyway, but I also got the other stuff. Right, I didn't do a fight at the time. The only reason I chose that was because I could see it didn't have any shield bubbles. Um, I thought I'd be able to win that fight. So that's not a problem, but that's okay. I've now got the information. So, are those... What's that? That's a pulsar... That's an asteroid field. Okay, it's good to know where the asteroid fields are. So that is good. Let's just go... Yeah, we can kind of loop around this way. By distress, distress, store. That kind of feels like a good thing to do. Um, not seeing many fights, though. Which is interesting. 
More drones. Right, I've just picked up two free drones in a row. That's interesting. Now, does this tell me where ship... Yes, I can see where ship fights are. So I can actually see there's no ship fights in any of these locations. Huh. Okay. A ship fight distress, which one means that's a trap. Not strip ship fight distress. That probably means someone who wants me to give them free fuel. Bloody freeloaders. Uh, yes, we could go... Uh, there... How long have I got? There, 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 there. Yeah, that's probably what's about right. Let's head that direction. I feel like there's not much fighting going on in this sector, so this will be a pretty quick sector. So, I notice an NG colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. Turns out they're excavating equipment cash from the Federation Mantis War. Just it might be used to lure the pursuing rubber fleet. Yes, let's booby trap it. I'm not using missiles. Why the hell not? So, that will slow down the rebels a little bit. That's good. That'll make sure I've got time to do everything I want to do. Head on. Still nothing going on here. Yep. Nothing. Nothing at all. So the rebels are now kind of not doing anything for the time being. But that's okay. I could just... Mm, actually, this might be a little bit inefficient. But never mind. Uh, I might have time to go to that store at the end. But yeah, the thing is I can't... I'm not going there because then I'd have to swing by the asteroid field. And I'm not doing an asteroid field. That's just not happening. Right, let's go walk into the trap. Uh, you arrive at the beacon immediately. It was a trap! Oh my goodness, it was a trap. Okay, what have we got going on here? Nothing much. One shield bubble, missile launcher, and lasers. Not too much to be worried about there. Okay. Oh good, he's actually firing. So that means I get to avoid both his weapons. Yep, double miss. Dual lasers. Yep. Now, we just take these out. And then... Okay, good. Halberd Beam. Now, Halberd Beam is utterly amazing because it's got much more range, and that means I'll be able to hit. Yeah, I'll be able to hit four rooms, and they'll all be really good rooms. And it will do. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my goodness, they're utterly boned already. They are utterly, utterly boned. And let's just take them out. Yeah, it's it's quite a long beam, two damage per hit. It's amazing. It's just brilliant. Now, the rebels are actually miles behind me. Uh, I didn't realise that uh, what I did would slow them down quite that much, but never mind. Okay, it's better this way than running into them at the end. So, ooh. Interesting. So, I've got a smouldering NG research station, and either I can run another scan or run another scan. Um, as long-range scanners is, like, you know, unique to me, let's do that. So, I have a... Ship's reactor is overloading, not only that, an injured engine, a functioning drone schematic still on board. There's not time for both. You know, I'd normally save the NG, but I have been thinking about going drone control. Drone control would be tempting. I don't really need... No, I do need repair. Let's save the NG. Let's save the NG. Yes. Okay. You know, I've done. I've done the moral thing. I've done the moral thing. Should do the moral thing. Okay, and you know what, the NG can go and act as a, he can upgrade my thing to level 3, so now I can see when weapons are going to fire, which will genuinely be useful. So that is, that is good. That is genuinely good. So let's go to the store and see if we can find anything useful that we actually want to buy there. Message drive, uh, your scrap bars, yeah, 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 I'm sure. So, um, what have we got here? Hull repair drone, that would be good, but I don't have a drone control, it's quite pricey. What do I even have? Um, system repair. Am I ever going to use a system repair drone? No, because I've got an NG. So let's get rid of that. And let's see what we've got here. We've got a bunch of crew. And the epic music just starts. So this is going to be the most epic shopping trip of all time. Obviously, I'm not buying shields because that's cheating. I could buy drone control. And apparently, it comes with a free system repair drone. For Even though I've just sold you a system repair drone. So I'd like to think it's the same system repair drone he's giving straight back to me. Anti-personnel drone, not that useful because I've just got the med bay. I can easily outstand anyone who's in the med bay. So that's just, I've never really liked this drone. So I'm just going to get rid of that. The question then is, do I actually want to go for the drone control or not? Do I want to go for the drone control? And if I do, hmm, I can't get combat one anyway. I'd need to power it, that's the thing. I'd need to power the whole thing. Um, let's have a think about this. Is it sensible to go for... Is it sensible to go for this? 
if I install the drone system, I won't actually have enough money unless I were to sell something. How much is this worth? Ooh, titanium system casing is worth quite a bit of money. If I bought that, I could get drone control, but then <sighs> drone control isn't really about combat one. Drone control is the fact about the fact that I will want a defense drone at some point. I'll need to play defensively. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to sell them the system repair drone right back because I don't think it's particularly... Actually, no, there's no point selling it because I've got nothing I actually want to buy. So that's fine. Yeah, we'll just have that to hand in case I ever need it. That's all, that's, that's all I need. Yeah, that's fine. In which case, what I can also do is just power up my... There we go. So now I've just got a little bit more evade. We're up to 30% evade still. Eh, I hope we'd be a bit higher than that by now. Well, the Rebels are still flipping miles off. What's the best way to do this? Um, should we go to the... Oh no, don't go... Whatever happens, don't go up here because this is a dead end. This is... Thank God they patched this so you can see where systems link to. Because otherwise I'd have totally gone, yeah, let's do this. And then immediately run into a dead end. That's game over. So let's let's not do that. Let's go over here. And this is going to be a little bit of an inefficient system. But never mind whatever. So, oh, uh, whatever is happening. There is some NG stuff. And we've got an NG. So we can hail them. And uh, for some reason, consolidation of ship matters. Sounds embarrassing and personal. Something, something is happening. Yes, two NG ships are occurring. I don't know what's even happening, but there's, there's, there's free scrap, so that's good. Yes, fine. So, let's head on to the exit, yes. And anything happening here? What do I get? Strange vessel. Uh, minus four fuel for... No, no, I don't, I don't even want drone parts. I'm not using drone parts for anything, really. So, all right, then on to the next sector. What have we got? We've got Zoltan or... Ne well, I'm not going into Nebula because I need to be able to see what's going on. I want my visibility, so I'm going to Zoltan Controlled instead. So here we are in Zoltan Control. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. So this is it. This is our sector three. We've made it through the first two sectors pretty well. This is my first attempt. This is my first attempt at this. Uh, this isn't like the last time where I like had multiple failed attempts first. This is the first time I've actually tried this this evening, and I think it is going pretty darn well. So that's the first two sectors done. Next time on FTL No Shields, we'll be going through Sector 3 and maybe Sector 4, depending on how quickly we can do this. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been Many True Nerd, and this has been FTL Fast and Light Advanced with No Shields. Thank you very much, and goodbye.